Hey friends, today we are hanging out in the Magic Kingdom. I wanted to come out and see if there's anything new going on in the park. And plus my family is visiting from Pennsylvania and Ariel has never been to Disney. So today's her first time going to a Disney park. And I figured I'd make a little video so that we can have it as like a little memory and uh, share our day with you. So we're gonna ride some rides, eat some food and have a beautiful Magic Kingdom kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. It is such a beautiful day out today. The temperatures are in the high 80s, but it's not very humid and it's very breezy. And I'm just so happy. I'm, I'm happy to spend the day at Magic Kingdom with my family. It's crazy to think that just a couple of days ago, I was in uh, Tokyo at Tokyo Disneyland. And now we're back at the Magic Kingdom here in Florida. And I'm with my family. And I'm so excited to take Ariel around and take her on our first Disney ride, show her around. And I want to make her feel special. So we're going to try to get Bibbidi Bobbidi uh, Boutique where they actually like transform them into a princess. You know, do all the cool things, you know? Since it's Ariel's first visit, and before she sees the castle, we're gonna stop at the uh, barber shop and get pixie dusted. Well, Ariel's gonna get pixie dusted. <laughs> Close your eyes. A lot of people don't know that you can go in there and you can get that pixie dust for free right at the Harmony Barbershop. That's not just for people that are getting like a, a, a haircut. And uh, I think it's so cool. Now Ariel, yeah, she's gonna make her way down Main Street and I'm so excited for her to see the castle. Like she doesn't communicate, uh, like she she, ha she doesn't communicate very well, but she's come a long way. And the only thing that I've communicated with her personally is talking about Disney and the castle and the rides, cause she loves riding rides. Cause I took her to Knobles and I am so excited. <laughs> yeah, what's that? Now you can see it, Ariel. That's a big castle. Big castle. Oh. Yeah, you were going to big castle? Whoa. All right. How big it is. Good news, we got Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique actually for Ariel. So we're gonna get her transformed into a princess later in the video. And I'm excited. I, I honestly, like I was like, all right, I really wanna make this the best day ever. And the best day ever would literally be a princess being in Magic Kingdom. It's really cool, they do their hair, their makeup, or uh, they uh, give them a dress. And I, I don't know how it works exactly, but we're gonna figure it out. The Adventure Cavalcade's coming. Bruno's there. Does it feel magical scooting into the castle? It does, doesn't it? <laughs> so magical, scooting in the castle. We were trying to decide what would be the perfect first ride for Ariel here at Disney. And I wanted something that everybody could ride together. So I think uh, everybody agreed it's a small world, right? I think that's a good one. Yeah. 
It's a Small World probably isn't my favorite ride, but it is really cool because all of us get to ride together. So it's really nice to have a nice family ride for her first ride. And uh, I wish you could do the one in Disneyland. Holy moly. And speaking of that, did you guys hear in Tokyo Disneyland, they're getting a Marvel It's a Small World? Like they're going to be Marvel characters in there instead of like children from around. Like, you know what I mean? Kind of how they have uh, Disney characters in Disneyland. But let me know what you guys think about that. But at least I think this is going to be fun. This is a good start. This is a good way to start the day on It's a Small World. Maybe for Ariel. We're going for the first ride. You love this ride, Ma? I love this ride. It's so Ariel, you want to go ride more rides? Go more rides? More rides? Yeah, more. I asked my mom and my sister what are the two rides that you have to ride and Bonnie said Tron because she's never rode it before my mom said Winnie the Pooh because she loves Winnie the Pooh so we're gonna do those rides now that Ariel did her first ride and uh, yeah I mean honestly I want to do a lot but this is just day one they're gonna be here for a while but it's more about capturing the moment today you know what I mean I really want Ariel to feel like a princess and I, I want to give that feeling for my mom and sister too to give it to her you know what I mean it's 12 30 p.m. that means we have to go to our lightning lane yeah we have Tron lightning lane my friend Kristen is coming to hang out with us and it's great because you know it's really hard getting around the parks especially with uh, my mom's wheelchair and then Ariel her stroller has a special tag on it that makes it a uh, wheelchair because you know Ariel sometimes does use a wheelchair but uh, it, 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 I don't know it's like so that they know that they can use that uh, like stroller as a wheelchair. I've never seen it but it comes in handy how excited are you, Bonnie, to ride Tron? I'm excited. Right? Oh, yeah. Now, is there any other rides you haven't ridden yet? You've done Guardians. Yep. What about Ratatouille? Yep. That's it? That's it. Yeah? Tron, yeah. Wow. And you're yeah. up to date on all the newest rides in Orlando. Would you look at that? Yep. So ride mom definitely would never be able to ride. Never. She couldn't do Slinky. Oh, it's like, oh, do you remember when I took her on Slinky yep. Dog Dash? She hated it. <laughs> oh, happy birthday. I'm happy we got the lightning lane. Yeah. Oh, let's go in. Team Blue users. Attention users, you are about Did you to watch this video at all, Bonnie? No. So you don't know what to expect? No. Oh. Look at your hair. Did you already get off the ride? Yep. Why is it doing this? I don't know. You should be this is crazy. It's the magnetic fields yes, in here. It's a magnetic force. There's no hats on the rides too, so it gives me time to let my head breathe a little bit.
Danny, what did you think? It was great. You loved it? Yeah. How was the launch? It was good. Yeah. Did you think it was short? A lot of people say it's short. Yeah, it was kind of short, but... Yeah, it what would you fun. rather, that or Rock and Roller Coaster? Oh, that. That or Guardians? Uh, Guardians. Oh, Guardians is the winner. Sorry, Tron. Ron was amazing and I'm glad Bonnie liked it and like I said there's no way my mom would ever ride that ride she didn't like Slinky Dog Dash and I couldn't record it because I didn't bring my GoPro so I'll probably add some POV footage and now we're going to go meet up with uh, Ariel and my mom and maybe ride something my mom could ride I know she her favorite character is Winnie the Pooh and Ariel's favorite uh, character is Maribel so we got to meet her there's so many things and plus we want to get something to eat Bonnie got to ride the ride she wanted to ride. Mom, now it's your turn. We need to pooze this way though, Ma. Ma, to the left. Nope, nope, our left. Boop, boop, beep, beep. <laughs> there we go. Look at these cool people hanging out here. Drinking Monster. <laughs> Look at my, my mom looks like she's just hanging out. Look at, got the logo facing outwards. <laughs> My mom's not drinking Monster, obviously, but she's just holding it, and I don't know why, it just looks so funny, like seeing a Monster can in my mom's hand. I'm just like, what is, it just looks weird to me. Kristen, we're all gonna make it in here? Oh, look at Ariel! We're riding rides, Ariel! Oh, I stepped on a smart water! We're riding rides, Ariel! I stepped on a smart water! Traded if you ask me, Look at us! Wasn't that fun, Christopher Robin? Now that we got uh, mom's poo business out of the way, <laughs> I think we're gonna go get something to eat. And uh, Liberty Tree Tavern. Yep. Yeah, so what is Seven Doors Mine Train at though? 60 minutes? I don't think she, I don't think Ariel's ready for Seven Doors Mine I Train. Don't think so. I think Barnstormer first and then we'll see if we can do that. That's a good way to test it out. So far she loved Winnie the Pooh. Oh yeah, she does. You know? Liberty Tree Tavern is some good food. It's like Thanksgiving dinner. You get turkey, you get pork, you get pot roast, mashed potatoes, stuffing, vegetables, salad, rolls, and then ooey gooey toffee cake, and it's all you care to enjoy. And it's like $44 at an adult, and it gets your, you get your beverages included, and it's served family style, and it's really cool because it's really, de like really themed inside the restaurant. And uh, the different rooms are off different uh, presidents, like they have a Jefferson and a Franklin room, and uh, it's cool. I mean, I really like it. I'm glad my, my mom and sister have never been here. I kind of want to do everything they've never done before. Here it is, Liberty Tree Tavern. 
I know. Isn't this restaurant so amazing? Yeah. And each of the rooms are based off of like, you know, presidents. Like they have a George Washington room, a Benjamin Franklin room. Look, we actually use it. And those are the bathrooms up there, Bonnie. You got to go up to those bathrooms. They're like, I, I feel like they're the oldest bathrooms in Disney property. <laughs> My mom's taking a fancy lift up. Yeah. How you doing down there? Oh, you raise me up. <laughs> wow, that's kind of nifty. <laughs> Look at this. The food has arrived. Mashed potatoes, green beans, mac and cheese, turkey, stuffing, pork loin, pot roast. You got the dinner rolls over there? Yeah. Yeah. I'm excited, and there's plenty of this. Like, you can get as many as you want. You even got cranberry sauce and a gravy boat. Oh, my Lanta. Mashed potatoes is a serious thing in my family. In fact, my mom has taught my sister exactly how to make the mashed potatoes so that I can have them and we can carry on the family recipe. But wait, I want to learn how to make the mashed potatoes. We got to come home then. I mean, I'd much rather just being served the mashed potatoes. Like, whenever you guys come, I could eat a whole plate for Thanksgiving dinner. Like, I could, and then the leftovers. This is what this, this is what it reminds me of. Like, Thanksgiving dinner, you know? Let's go. The parade. Ooh. Ooh. Parade. Ooh. I think I see tangled. She likes Peter Pan. Yeah. Peter. 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 Peter, Peter Pan. Peter Pan. Uh oh. Yo, how awesome is it? You just like stop eating your food and then go out and watch the parade. Now we go back in and it's ooey gooey toffee pudding time. It's ooey gooey toffee pudding time. <laughs> Ariel's face ever since the dragon. I'm missing your dragon face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there we go. There we go. All right. As the as Ariel keeps on showing the dragon face, uh, the dessert has arrived. We got the toffee pud pudding, toffee cake, toffee cake, and my mom got an apple cake, an apple cake because she doesn't like chocolate. So that's just me and you, Bonnie. Liberty Tree Tavern put me in a coma, but uh, it is time to actually go and do Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique with Ariel. And uh, I don't know how much I'm gonna show. I just want her to be able to experience mostly, like, you know what I mean? And uh, yeah, I guess uh, I'll take it from there afterwards. We're definitely gonna take a lot of photos, you know what I mean? And I was hoping I timed it right so we can get the golden hour. The golden hour at Magic Kingdom. Here it is, Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique. You check in here and then you pay for the package. And I'm not too sure, but I, I think maybe you go over here. I think you go into the castle. I don't know, we'll find out. But the only thing is, is I don't even know if I can go in because I think it's only uh, two people for uh, one guest. So I want my mom and sister to be in there. I'll just hang out here and then go in and give the card. Do you want a pink dress or yellow? 
here is a look at the packages. The Deluxe Castle package is $229. The other one is $199 and then $450. I think we're going to do the Deluxe. We'll do the middle one. Yeah. Ariel, which dress are you going to get? Do you want the pink one or the yellow one? You're getting the yellow one? Yeah. Wow. Okay. All right. Well, we'll, we'll see you see. afterwards. See you. Okay. See you soon. See you soon. My mom and Bonnie are in there with Ariel. They only allow two people per guest. And I am sitting outside and I have to watch the stroller and all the bags. So uh, yeah, I'm just gonna hang out here and then I can't wait to see Ariel once she comes out in her new outfit and probably ride some more rides and just hang out. My mom's committed to staying till the fireworks. So I'm uh, kind of eager to see if she's gonna make it all the way that long, you know? Anyone that knows me knows I can't sit still and I honestly don't know how long the Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique is actually gonna take so I have to watch this stuff so I'm actually just gonna start strolling around Magic Kingdom with the stroller and I don't think I've ever done this before. <laughs> I don't know I just can't sit still. I've just discovered that it is uh, 90 minutes to two hours for the Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique so um, I just unknowingly committed to basically watching this stroller and the bags for 90 minutes to two hours the magic kingdom <laughs> i mean i don't know i mean it can't be that bad sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> that was actually really funny because i didn't plan for me to actually show how difficult it is to actually be in a stroller but i was gonna make like a little montage of me driving or like pushing the stroller around and put some music but i think i'll just leave it at that that, that clip was good uh but now i think they're gonna have to transfer bonnie texted me from uh the costuming into the castle uh to get the hair done so i want to go catch her as she's walking out Oh, oh, <laughs> wow. Oh, she's going in, huh? <laughs> she's going to get her hair done? Yeah. Oh, look at her. What happened to the yellow dress? Oh, you go, Ariel. I'm waiting to see. Oh, my Lord. That was precious. <laughs> Wait, she goes into the castle? Should I go show her going in the castle? Yee. Yo, look at this. Yo, when she came out, that was so amazing. Honestly, I'm so happy. And I hope she and I know she loves it all. And I'm happy that my mom gets to see this. And I'm happy that we get to give like a vacation. Because like I never got to go to Disney World when I was a kid. Like, you know, my mom, I'm sure she would. I'm sure she would have taken me if she could. But I'm glad that we're kind of doing it over. But we got an area and we're giving her something, you know what I mean, that we couldn't get when we were kids, you know? She's in there now. I thought about maybe going to Cinderella's Royal Table and seeing if I can get a walk-up list, but we're already at Liberty Tree Tavern. Wouldn't that be nice? Instead, maybe we'll go see Aurora. I don't know if they have a meet I think actually before, I think I seen her with Tiana, so maybe we'll do that. That was just like the little intermission though. <laughs> I was uh, so excited just to see her go from costuming over into the castle. And how cool is that to be on your very first day to go into the castle actually. Now I think it's a little bit longer because now they're gonna cut her hair, make it all fancy and nice, and then probably photos afterwards. So back to uh, watching the stroller. Oh my.
Ariel, you look beautiful. Say thank you, Nate. You want to go ride the horsies? Want to go ride the horsies? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We're going to the wishing well. Woo. Come on. Got to make a wish now. This is such a great spot to take photos. They got the castle in the background here. Oh, look at the flowers in the water. Wow, so pretty, you wanna see? Look at it, it matches your dress. Look at the flowers. <gasps> look at the pretty flowers. Oh. Ariel so said she wants to walk, so I'll push the stroller, Bonnie, so you guys can walk together. Yeah. You don't know this, but I got really uh, comfortable with this stroller while you guys were in there. Oh! Sorry. <laughs> so you're getting really comfortable here. Ariel's not interested in the sash or the wand, but we're gonna take some photos and then we're gonna go ride the horses. And the horses! You wanna ride a horsey? Yeah. As a princess? And then can you point the toe? Ma, you're so excited. Look at you. Do you like to go like this or like this? What do you like? Give me the dragon face. Do you want a dragon face? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Princess Ariel, your horse awaits ya. Ariel's first ride was a carousel in Knobles, and it was my all-time favorite ride. And look, now she's riding again. It's just like back in Knobles. I see the bell. Do you hear the bell? Oh, here we go. Hi Mimi! Nothing like a carousel to make you happy. Yep. What a beautiful evening, right? Yep. <laughs> yeah. I'm literally just pushing around an empty stroller today. Look at them back there. We're going to ride Dumbo. We're going to ride the elephant. Then I'm going to go. Yep. Want to watch some fireworks? Yeah. Yeah. When it gets dark? Yeah, yellow. Yellow, yeah. Everybody was discussing what like ride Ariel would like. And I thought Dumbo would have been a great first ride, but my mom won't ride Dumbo. I told her it's nice and easy, but you know, I don't want to you know, push her into something she doesn't like. So, Small World, I think you mentioned it, Bonnie, didn't you? Yeah. So, I think that's a good ride. Yeah. Classic. We gotta stick to the classics. Yeah. As we were waiting to ride Dumbo, Ariel keeps on saying Roller Coaster, the Barnstormer. And if she likes this, I'm, Bonnie's thinking maybe we do it. You think she'll like it? There's only one way to find out. Are you ready to fly, Ariel? You ready to fly? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, this is so beautiful out right now. Wow. Uh. You having fun back there? <laughs> Yo, this is great. The temperature is amazing. The sunset! Oh, 
Let's bring her down. Photo pass photographers deserve so much credit. I mean, they were going the extra mile to get the shots of the arrow, and I thought that was amazing. The photos came out fantastic. I don't know if I can put them in. I'll show you some on my phone. Look at this photo right here. Look at her face. Yo, she has so, she's so adorable. I love it. Wow, we're doing it. The ride is closed. Oh no, well you know what? That just means another day. Yep, another day. Another day, Ariel. The ride broke. Well, gotta come back. It's okay. All right, I think we're gonna try to go see Cinderella because we wanted to see a princess today. So maybe Cinderella and then the fireworks, if we can make it. If not, fireworks could be another day. Ariel's taking over duty, pushing the stroller. <laughs> Cinderella, Cinderella, Cinderella. Princess Ariel, after you, go ahead. Go ahead, lead us the way. Cinderella and Elena were awesome, and Ariel was so quiet. She was just so mesmerized. But now we're gonna try to find a spot for fireworks. We gotta hurry up. <laughs> they already have this area closed off. We gotta go. Titanic leave in five minutes. Ariel said she wanted a balloon. No, I'm okay. Here you go! <laughs> Do you like it? What are you saying in it? <laughs> we decided not to watch the fireworks, so we're just snacking on some caramel popcorn. Ariel's about to lose her balloon, and she's about to go away with those balloons. Friends are four. Never had a friend, never had a friend, you ain't never had a friend, never had a friend, you ain't ever had a friend like me. She wants her balloon. Oh, Bonnie, it's Olaf. Look at, say goodbye. Oh. And with that, I think we are done here today. Ariel had the best day ever. She's so excited to see Gracie. Uh, but, you know, it, I usually close it out in the parks, but it takes a while now because got to load up the stroller, got to load up mom's wheelchair, but we're home to see Gracie. There she is. And there she goes. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. And we'll see you next time. Bye.